why is Tripitaka alone? Deserted by all, poor Tripitaka continues the journey alone. Downcast in the pouring rain, he kneels to pray for aid. Fainting when his horse was struck by lightning, an exhausted Tripitaka has slept a whole night through. Another shock awaits him. you do? Who are you? Don't you know? You do. You're teasing me. Does this remind you of anything? Clip-clop, clip-clop. Have you guessed? <sighs> no? I was standing there by the tree when the lightning struck and it hurt. I suppose the lightning was sent by Buddha. Because there you are. I am now human. I was a dragon, then a horse. You were... you were the horse before this? Is that what you're saying? Don't they say, we're born again and again? Well, here I am with two arms on opposite sides of my body. You're a priest, don't you know? I mean, do I have to die to be born again? These are feet, they're not hooves. Ah, oh, look at me dancing. It can't be me, I'm human. But of course he won't. Do you hear that? Oh, must I don't like this place. Don't you worry, though. You're better off with me than with those three. On the other hand, it won't be too long before they come back, will it, Master? I'd send them away if they came back. It wouldn't. This journey has as much to reach a state of mind as to get to India. They've given up. Uh, speak f for yourself. If they don't return, then ghosts Enough will get Enough nonsense us. now. Just you come along. Uh. Oh, master, the island's gone. Oh, you long, what island? Oh, in the middle of the lake there was something shiny and black. And now it's gone. You imagine something. Oh, if you're sure. The master's cleverer than I am. But you could be clever and blind. Monster. I hope its eyes are weak as well. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Run! It's my fault. If only I could still carry you. Monkey! 